Welcome back. This is video number 16 in the Quick Start video series. It's Greg Hughes again with 90 Second Website Builder. I want to show you how to use the drawing tools. Over here in the toolbox, there's a set of tools called the drawing tools. There are a number of them, and they all do um, different things. And um, just to keep this video succinct, I'm not going to cover the details of every tool, but we will look at each one briefly. I'm going to start with a tool that's probably the most common one to use, and that's the shape tool. Uh, the shape tool, I use it a lot just to make little boxes or squares or little backgrounds for my websites. And it's it's really versatile. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So we'll start with the shape tool. All you do is click on it, of course, to uh, grab the tool. I'm going over here. I'm going to drag a box out onto the canvas. And I'm actually drawing a shape. It starts me off with this sort of square or rectangle shape with a gray background. And I can do all kinds of things with it. In fact, uh, what I'm going to do, let me move this object out of the way so that we can play with this shape a little bit. Now to mess with it, just as you would imagine, we just double click on it and there's all kinds of settings for the shape. Right now it just defaults to this kind of a shape, but I can round the edges, I could even make a circle, or as you can see, a number of other shapes are available to me. I use the arrows sometimes to draw attention to something. But you can see it just goes on and on. There's all kinds of shapes to work with. Little talk bubbles are kind of fun. And uh, snowflakes. All kinds of things to be creative with. So um, let's work with this one. It's kind of a rounded uh, edge shape. And you can even adjust the roundness of the edges. The radius it's called by adjusting this number. How opaque or transparent it is is set here. If I want this to be a solid background like it is right now, I could keep this or I could turn it into a gradient and then choose my gradient colors and uh, you can get kind of a little bit of a preview of what it's going to look like here. So anyway, you get the idea that you can you can really adjust these, these shapes to whatever you want, whatever you need. You can also, besides adding borders and hover mode to these things, you can add some effects like um, shadows, which is kind of nice. So if I was to add a number here, which is an offset, I could create a shadow. It's going to be a black shadow uh, that's 50% uh, opaque. And when I click OK, you can see there's this little shadow behind the shape. So whenever you need to make a little shape, uh, this is the tool to use. But let me give you some advice. Uh, one of the uh, temptations is to use this tool too much. I know that sounds funny, but when you're creating a shape with 90 Second Website Builder, you're actually asking the software to then turn this into an image. So that means if you make a really, really big shape like this, if I was to go like this and say, oh, I want my website to have this big orange background, this is not a great way to do it because this would be a huge shape and it could slow your site down. If you want big colors in your background, there's other tools you can use like the background feature or the layer tool, which we'll cover in another video. So the shape tool is something you want to use sparingly. You want to use it carefully and use it just to add a little bit of spice. It's kind of like putting the frosting on the cake or the cherry on the sundae. You don't want to overdo it because they can get really heavy and make your site, um, you know, pretty big file size. So you want to use them sparingly, but they're great to use to add effects. So for example, if I had this, uh, this opt-in form and I wanted to have sort of a background to it, I could use a shape. Now, right now, this shape is in front of it. So I could go up here and say arrange and move the shape to the back. And I could use this to sort of highlight my little opt-in form there. That's one way to use the shape tool, as you can see. Okay, so I think you get the idea. And that's one of my favorite ones. And as you can see, there's just a number of different shapes you can create with that tool. But let's look at another, uh, some of the drawing tools. Another common one would be the uh, text art tool. And this is great for um, just creating some special effect with text. Now, there's a difference between using text and images on a website because for search engine optimization purposes, you need to know the difference. So for example, when Google crawls your website, it can read the text. This down here is actual, actually text. And although what we're about to make will look like text, uh, Google's going to see this as an image. And that's a disadvantage uh, because it doesn't count necessarily as text content. However, the advantage of it is you can use any font and you can make all kinds of special effects with this tool. So let's try it real quick. I'll uh, type in some text and um, we can choose a warp style right here. We'll do some, I'm going to do something kind of straight like this. 
I can change fonts, of course, do something if I have something that I prefer to use. And by the way, as I click through my fonts, I can preview them in this little box here, which is kind of handy. So if I find a font that I want to use, because since it's going to be a shape, or since it's going to be an image, I can use any font, then I can do that. So I can decide the boldness, I can stretch it, again, background colors, border styles, all of these things are available. Let's just, in fact, let's just change a border here to something black and make it a little bit fatter. So you can see that I'm getting a preview. Also, um, when I preview any of the other ones, it picks up my styling, as you can see. But I'll go with that one just to show you what it looks like. And then we'll click OK. And so here's my text. Because this is a shape slash image object, I can stretch it and do all kinds of things with it that I can't do with text. And that's the idea of this tool, to use um, a tool that will allow you to create text but have an artistic flexibility with it, just, just to give you a lot more options. So that's how the text art tool works. And we, again, there's so much more that it does. For example, there's a whole gallery of presets that you can use here and then adjust. So if I wanted to start with somebody else's idea, I can do that and then go back and adjust it to look the way I want it to look. I could add a border, add, um, edit, edit this particular style, change the colors, et cetera, make it hover mode. So anyway, that's how that works. So we're going to close that. I'm actually going to delete these objects from my demo site and talk to you a little bit about some of the other tools. Let's go back over here to the drawing tools. Um, the banner tool is just kind of a quick and easy way to make a banner just like what you would think. You just draw a box out here and you've got a banner. So if you really want to make a fast sort of header or banner for your website, you can do this. By double clicking on it, you'll see you can adjust the text. It defaults to using the title of the page by checking this box. And I have a page that's untitled, so I wouldn't want to do that. But if you check this box, or rather uncheck this box, you can then change the text inside the banner. Or you can have no text at all. If you want to take that out, you can. But let's say I was going to have a banner with text. Here I would decide on the positioning of that text and how I want it to line up. I want it to be at the bottom of the banner, all that kind of stuff. The um, offset, the boldness, the size of the text. I can also add effects like we did before. As you can see, effects to the text here, shadowing, etc. So really, this tool is just a fast way to make a banner. And one of the things you can do, this is kind of a cool trick, is you can just pick a preset banner size, a 468 by 60, for example. That's a common advertising banner size. So you just select that, and that's the size your banner will be. So I just made a common banner right there. I would adjust the way it looks under the Style tab. Uh, right now it's a gradient. I could make it a solid. I could make it a glass, uh, whatever. Make it a blue banner. And adjust the color of the border, make it fatter. Go back here and change the uh, style of the text. You get the idea. So a very fast, quick, and easy way if you want to make a real quick banner. And of course, this object can be a link. Or if you're um, doing some event programming, you can add events to this object as well. That's what the banner tool does. So play around with that. You have fun with it. Now some of these other drawing tools um, are just are great, like the curve tool, the curve close, the curve text. Uh, some of these polygons, scribble. A lot of these tools are great. If you were using a tablet input device instead of a mouse, for me it's hard to draw with a mouse, but maybe you're good at it. You could take these tools and you can just draw and make shapes. You know, here I'm not a great artist, but you, you get the idea. You can just actually draw lines and, and shapes. Uh, same thing with the curve close, it's similar. You can see what that does. And again, um, you can double click on these things and change the way they look make them links, change the borders, change the inside colors of them. And like I said, I think a drawing tablet, if you're using a drawing tablet or a, uh, as an input device, it'd be a great uh, way to use these. Curved text is kind of interesting because you can draw a shape like we were just doing, but then what happens is it fills it with text. So you would enter your text here. This is a really interesting tool. And again, all of those color decisions can be made there. But what happens is the text that you enter into this particular shape that you've drawn actually wraps itself around that shape, as you can see. Let me move this out of the way so you can see better. So this, the text actually accommodates 
the shape or the line that you've drawn. Very, very interesting way to wrap text around something. So you artistic creative types could have fun with that. Again, you could change the font, uh, font size, how opaque it is, etc., etc. That's an interesting tool. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. The line tool is very handy. I actually use this one a lot too. If you just need a straight line, sometimes you just need to make a straight line. Uh, what's great about it, I just double clicked. I drew a straight line right here and then I double clicked to bring up the line properties. And what I can do, of course, is make it fatter, uh, change the color. But what I like about it is I can put things at the ends of the lines like arrows and boxes. So if I put an arrow at one end and let's say put a circle at the other end, now I've got one of these little lines that uh, I can use sort of like an architectural line. Let me double click on it and make those even bigger. So I can change the number here, make my arrow and my circles be a little bit bigger. And you can see I've got now a line. And it's easy to move around. If I want to point to something, I can do that, stretch it. And uh, these little handles that you see here are only in the design mode. If we previewed, those, you wouldn't see the little white boxes. That's just for design mode. So that's the line tool. Line tool is really handy too. Again, as you're drawing these shapes, you're actually creating an image. So um, these become, you know, more uh, file size for your website. So again, you wouldn't want a thousand of these on one, one page. You want to use them sparingly. Although in this case, it's kind of a small image. So let me delete that. And uh, let's go to another drawing tool. So let's see, we looked at banners and clip art's a great one. Now clip art tool is kind of interesting. I'm going to draw a box out here. And what happens is it brings up a dialogue to help me choose uh, what kind of a shape I want to use for my clip art. Now, you'll notice if you're doing this along with me on your computer, your clip art may look different than mine. The reason for that is because this box is checked. It shows system dingbats. Now, my particular system, my Windows font system, has dingbats. You know what those are, those little wing dings and web dings that you see, the symbols that you see in your fonts. So you may have different ones than I do. Some of your fonts that have dingbats will show up in here because the software pulls it from your Windows system folder. If you uncheck this, these are just the ones that are default built into the software. And even here, there's a ton of different shapes. This happens to be all animals, flowers, stars. Uh, you know, I mean, stars actually it contains a lot of other symbols and numbers too. It's more than just stars. But by picking up your system fonts, you can see there's a number of things you can get. So, for example, uh, you know, I can go through here and pick up a symbol. If I wanted to, in fact, let's find something a little more interesting. Uh, let's find a symbol like this uh, no smoking sign that happens to be a web ding in one of my fonts. When I use this, I don't have to um, live with just that sort of black and white look. It becomes a shape like anything else that I can edit when I double click on it. Now, I can again do all of these same effects. I can make it solid. I can make it gradient. I can change its color and I can add a border to it. Uh, and change the color of that border as you can see. So there's a lot of things you can do with just the clip art tool. And um, it's a great way to add a little uh, button or icon to your website because it can become a link too. All of these have link properties so you can link these to a page or to an outside website and just uh, easy to shape, easy to work with and move around. So we've talked about the banner tool, that's the clip art tool and these other curve tools, these are sort of free Freestyle drawing tools, the lines, polygon, that's another freestyle. Scribble, again, if you're good at drawing or you have a, a pad, an input tablet device, it's a great uh, tool to use for just going to draw some freestanding uh, shapes. But the drawing tools are great uh, because what makes a uh, 90 second website builder unique is even though it's web design software, it does include a few uh, image design tools, which is what we're talking about here. So just understand that as you work with the drawing tools and you create these shapes and objects, the software will then convert them into images that will be stored on your website. So use them carefully, use them sparingly, um, but use them to add a little bit of spice and a little pizzazz to your project.